their careers at Seton Hall. Really? Let, let's go through that list, yeah. TJ, and let's stop right there. <laughs> anyway, right now, I think the Pirates go a little. <laughs> UConn controls the tip. Coming off a 78-54 win over Villanova last Saturday. Nice slip, which they do beautifully, Bird. Off the back door, Caravan feeds it for Spencer. Now it's Klingon getting a touch. And this is what Seton Hall has done a nice job. This is the role play they run beautifully. The no finish. Give and go. Klingon misses it off the window. Kadari Richmond fills up the box score for Seton Hall. The drive there by Davis. What a jump he's made. In this is senior season, the transfer from Louisville. Interesting with Newton on Kadari, and now they switch it. This is more like it, I think, with Castle. Good defender. Post up. Isolation. This game. Tricky play. Richmond couldn't finish it. Does come away with the offensive rebound. Clears nice. it. Dawes. Nice fake. The jumper goes down. Al Amir Dawes. Excellent shooter. The transfer. From Clemson, averaging 14 and a half points per game. Overlook for Dabari is his ability to find people. Great look. So a 3 0 lead for the Pirates. Busy as can be, Spencer. Opens up a lot of cutting areas for people. Feed it. Clinging. Diagonal. Newton lines it up. Off the heel. Rebounded by Betty Aka. What an addition Betty Aka has been. Bangs on the inside. Grad transfer from Santa Clara. And he can score too. 15 double figure games at Santa Clara. Davis negated on the interior, had two defenders there, including Klingon. This is tough. Caravan short rebound. Betty Ako for Seton Hall. One thing is getting back and then covering. Both the slap back and an inverted turnover. There were two pirates in the area. Who was that pass intended for? Was it Davis or was it a Dewusu? Uh, Klingon such a force under the rim. Uh, good protection. You can gamble a little bit on the perimeter as well. Let's take a look at Shaheen. Done a great job with this program. Stefan Castle, the talented freshman from Covington, Georgia, probably going to be the biggest freshman of the year. Has to be. He's won the biggest freshman of the week nine times. Pretty good job getting Klingon a little away. Nice day. You caught it. Slam upstairs. Rising Castle. That's what mazes. Amazes me their ability to find people you can't ball watch. Great dive to the tip. Castle's got major bounce, averaging just under 11 points per game. Richmond, give it up. Davis trying to take it inside on Caravan. The turnaround is nice. Well, he has played well. I do think most improved, maybe, his ability. Minutes have gone up, numbers are up from 9 to what, 13 or 14? Versatile player brings a lot of toughness. Castle, clothing for two. And that's what do you do? You play Castle or you take the roll guy? Cover. It's a 5-4 lead for Seton Hall. Three minutes gone by in this first half. Richmond had his pocket picked, but knocked out of bounds by Castle with those quick hands. As Danny's uh, mantra when he started here was defense and rebound, and they've added the offensive schemes that are very difficult to contend with. UConn, number three in the country. Seton Hall has never beaten a top three team on the road. They are 0-14 all time. The screen and dribble handoff. Dawes goes down on the play. Davis with six to shoot. Now it's Richmond. Nice ball. He is so Adjust. The body attack. And Spencer there for the board. He should have gotten to the foul on anything. Cam Spencer played at Loyola, Maryland, played at Rutgers last year. Looking to post up Klingon. One on one with Betty Ako. And they, they play him straight up. Klingon couldn't finish it. Good hustle by What a pass. Inside Caravan and it's Castle with the beautiful dish. They are unselfish. They'll find their partner. 15 and, and 0 at home this season. 16 consecutive weeks in the AP Top 5. Nice look. The penetration. Dogs, again. Giving it up. Betty Ako blocked on the interior. Pushed by Caravan. Find it. Newton. Swing it. But he had the three. Now settle in. Half court. Newton. Four triple doubles. Nice play. UConn. They get it inside, and Klingon finishes. Well, it happens with St. Hall frequently. They show so big, there's no recovery. Only three losses this season for UConn. Richmond Ooh. denied. Do not go in there on Donovan Klingon. And he's early out, celebrating early here. But Klingon 
Such a force. Third block, huh? Big fella. Looming large. Now you got to keep it in play. Son of it. To the rescue. I bought three of the same jacket to get the fourth free. I subscribed to get a deal on these memory supplements, then forgot to cancel. Yeah, well, you know, recognizing a bad deal is a part of the journey. With Klingon early. You mentioned it. Klingon has three blocks. UConn is four of eight from the field. Seton Hall is two out of seven. And Newt did a real good job with the curl. Shoe came off. Pirates had won three in a row, had that snapped against Creighton, blown out on Wednesday night, 85-64. to 64. Davis lines it up, bottom, it's a three. Again, Kadari didn't make a mistake, found his partner big time. You're going to have to make up a decision on that dribble drive to the lane. Don't get too deep with Klingon. Skip it for Newton. 15 points per game, hook a pass inside. Oh, the ball is popping here for the Huskies. Klingon, little hook going. No, nope, no help on it. it. They are playing straight up. Castle using the screen off the double team. Caravan makes his move, floats it up, rims out. Knocked out of bounds, last touch by Seton Hall. And that's what happens when you're on that closeout, that skip pass. Momentum carries you forward. Caravan didn't finish, but the right idea. They run great out of bounds plays. Once in a while a lob or a pin down like this. Spencer gives it up for nice Castle. Foul. He got met there and a foul on Davis. Got him on the arm as Castle made his move to the rim. There's so many weapons, Bird. That's what makes them extraordinary to defend against. Little pump fake, the bite. And you're not going to get that call on the charge anymore this year. Not a ball, but maybe a scrape. So it's Ray Davis, the Indianapolis native, picks up the personal. And Stefan Castle, major recruit for Dan Hurley, McDonald's All American. But as you alluded to, the fact that the mentality on this team is spread it around, share the ball. So Castle, he does look to create for others. It's not just all about him. And he doesn't take bad shots. He's improved the outside shot. Uh, people are testing him at the beginning of the game to see if he can convert. But his dribble drive, as you saw, his defense is extraordinary. He chests up beautifully. And speaking of D, here comes Diara. Asan Diara, senior, one of those... That was part of the pregame ceremony, an emotional Dan Hurley with his son, part of the senior group, Andrew. Very emotional. I'm sure your family felt the same when you graduated from Sherrick. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't remember the tears. They were happy you attended. I think drops were... that pretty, pretty. No finish. Benny Alco missed it with a left hand. Great balance thus far by Seton Hall, making them work some half-court deep or offense. Spencer thought about it. UConn up by two. Just about six minutes elapsed in this first half. So there's that, that big show. Different outlook now with Johnson on the floor. They like to drive and lob to him on occasion. Body control. Newton kicks it out. Caravan misses on a three ball. Rebound. Out of bounds. Diara. So Seton Hall's going to take over. On Pluto TV, there's hundreds of channels, thousands of movies, all for free. Just turn on the TV and watch it. Pluto TV, stream now, pay never. St. Hall's going to have to make some threes. They only attempt 19 a game, five made. But with this defense inside, there's going to be some kick-out opportunities. No substitutions yet for the Pirates. Pass to Aaron Dawes tried to toss it to the corner and it carried Davis out of bounds. Gee, it's scratching his head. Uh, what a competitor this kid was. And the team has taken on his mentality and his identity. They are tough. They are physical. Shaheen Holloway in his second year at his alma mater. He and Hurley missed each other at Seton Hall. Holloway came in just after Hurley left. What a backcourt that would have been. Then he could fill it up with good passer as well. Nice show again, but see that opening? Inside, Diara lays it in, and it's Samson Johnson with the feed. Well, if you show that big, you better convert in the back. So Johnson finding a role back from injury from last year. Foot injury cost him the majority of the season. Paint points, 10-2, Huskies. This kid can drive, Wusu, strong. Gets the roll, Ade Wusu with a chance at a three-point play. And didn't settle for that three either. Big shoulders, big legs. Played for the Johnnies. Taking it across the river, toll free. Actually, I believe you do have to pay the toll in that case. Coming, coming this way? Uh, yeah. 
They, they, there might be a toll involved, Bill. I, I just made the drive last night. That's right. You do get to Brooklyn. <laughs> but going from New York to New Jersey. Yeah. A little different. A little different. A little different. That's later. Free throw goes for a day Wusu at 66%. He's been in a shooting slump. This would be a major bonus for Seton Hall if they can get some consistent offense from the senior. 12-11, UConn. Uh, again, the too Beat early in the show, and that's what they're going to do. Decimate you. Usually the middle ball screen is the problem for teams. That was an empty side. Duh! And an easy one for Johnson. Fans on their feet here at Campbell. 14-11, UConn. This guy's got to get going. He can make some threes. He's trying to take it away from him. Dawes trying to feed denial. it to the post. A denial by Johnson. Out of bounds. Got to get a better wrangle for that delivery, too. Hutchins Everett is in the game for Seton Hall. The backup big. Just a little roll there. Very simple play. Again, I just think showing and not talking. It. Who's at home? Shahid wants to know. Nobody, coach. Off the penetration. Brady. And nice Brady. play by Dre Davis, plus the foul. And the activity and deployment. Very good that time for that open entree. Jalen Stewart in the game for UConn. And Dre Davis has seven. Everett with that little clear out set that baby up. Stung the D just a little bit. Davis has good length, so he's not intimidated going inside against bigger defenders. And we're tied at 14. UConn, six field goals, five assists, no turnovers. Now you mentioned Stewart on the floor as he becomes a shooter. Uh, this kid's going to contribute a lot to this program. Johnson gets a touch. Now Diara. Nice. There's that middle roll. A little better D. Steal. Davis trying to work his way towards the rim. He gets Dawes involved now, and Seton Hall with a chance to jump in front. Foul called. Dre Davis, that's a pro-type move in mentality. A rip through. Uh, tempo control pretty good for Seton Hall. Getting back in balance. Every March, Jersey Mike's turns. Of course, they had phenomenal success and contribution. More so to society with the kids that were able to get through St. Anthony's. Not athletes as well as great players. Dre Davis, who came off the bench last year. He has given Seton Hall a major lift in his senior season. He does have one year left of eligibility. Now they've, got a, they've got three studs, I think. Ten points for Davis. Ten of Seton Hall's 16. Now not an offensive-minded, deep shooting team right there, other than Spencer on the floor. They've locked up Spencer so far, not giving him a whole lot of space to work with. There's that roll right away by Johnson. Castle, feed it, Diara, nice fires pass. inside, and the layup doesn't go for Sampson Johnson, but he is going to the free throw line. Boy, that was a really good sequence defensively, and at the end, Everett just got lost under the rim. That's what Johnson does best, shows and sprints to that rim, unable to convert here, but tardy on the deep. Adama Sanogo has been a mentor to Johnson, former teammates. They couldn't be more different, though, either their style of play, right? Sonogo used to put you in the suitcase and bang you around. Johnson is an example of it. You have to re-recruit your kids just to make sure that they want to stay on. He wasn't playing last year. They had to re-recruit him. I had the same problem at home. <laughs> That's a daily occurrence. Spring. Uh, Jody! They don't, they don't have an NIL deal, by the way. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, no, you're right, though. That's a, a major issue for coaches. 16-14, Seton Hall. Empty trip there for UConn. This is his game. Power. Uh, Day Wusu couldn't bank it in. Nice hands by Davis. And, and Davis wow. gets inside for the offensive rebound and the putback. Scrappy, feisty. Normally, UConn's game. See the whole match in it right now. Work of the offensive glass. Three offensive boards. They've turned that into eight points. Nice diagonal look. Jumper. Newton. No good. Rebound is snagged there by Richmond. Big time rebound. And he's getting seven a game. Dawes accelerates. And him going a little bit, maybe. Uh, bad foul. Yeah, a good one. It's going to be Hutchins Everett who got in there. 
Seton Hall on a 7-0 run. CBS Tonight, critics agree the new hit series, Tracker, is addictively entertaining and full of suspense. Catch a new episode of Tracker starring Justin Hartley tonight after the Equalizer on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. And that dribble drive by Dawes, he's got to find somebody, not just throw it up there. Nice inside screen. They had Carabad, didn't find them. Feed inside the finish, clinging. He's so good at that. He anticipates his timing. Impeccable for the big fella. 18 16 Pirates. Spread it. Richmond using the screen from Bediaco. So the good drive. Couldn't finish it with the left hand. Rebound leaks out to Diara on the move. Diara cuts towards the rim and corkscrews for two. How about that confidence? Sandy was too small. Insult to injury. Diara, by the way, checks in at 6 2. We're tied at 18. Day Wusu is going to line it up. That's what they've been wanting him to convert a few. It really make it a little healthier. Newton kick. Castle back in. Caravan swing. Get a touch for Klingon. They stay at home. Some help. Tough look. Off the ricochet. Controlled by Castle. Newton the jumper. A no hand up by Richmond. Late closeout and no challenge. A three ball from Tristan Newton. Seven nothing burst from the Huskies. Seed Hall shooting it at just 38% from the field. Nice hands. Oh, my goodness. I thought the hour was right there. Yeah. They got to get those going, though, Bird. It's going to be Diara picking up the foul. How about this challenge right here? Big time. And he puts that hand down like he's too small, but this is no closeout, no hand up, make you pay. Senior special. Pirates have it on the side, fourth team foul. Seton Hall makes a change with Isaiah Coleman, who is just getting over an illness. Freshman from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Steele. Castle. They all struggling on the offensive end. Careless. Just can't feed this team. Too good, too talented. Stefan Castle, the change of direction skills, taking them all the way to the hoop. 23-18 Huskies. And probably the pull-up jump. He's got that elbow shot. Take it. Beniaco banging bodies. Fake. Missed the baby hook. Flying in Coleman and he knocked it off of UConn out of bounds yeah, Coleman gives it a little bit of lift, but you can't afford these opportunities The length of that pass no heat on it. Nobody stepped into the ball Bring it big time at the rim 20 seconds on the shot clock here for the Pirates 8.02 mark of the first half bounces nice inside Davis draws the foul on Klingon now we talked about UConn's ability to run some baseline out of bounds. Pretty clever there. They dive after the bump. They didn't really communicate defensively. It was just a little screen, a rub, and, and Davis with a chance for two. Scrappy play from Dre Davis. Davis should have been a lawyer right there. You think so? It was a bad career move for Dan. <laughs> He knows how to argue his case. <laughs> the jury isn't listening, I don't think. Or the jury is out. Great to see his emotion earlier. And his son so close to him. Dre Davis putting together a big first half. 14 points. He's 5 of 5 at the line. His brother Tay is a sophomore at Notre Dame. Used to be at Seton Hall. UConn is up to 59% shooting. Spencer back in. Klingon right there on that empty side roll. Klingon. How about that? Little baby hook for Donovan. Klingon. Great setup. 7 6 wingspan for Klingon, who is 7 foot 280 from Bristol, Connecticut. Takes two steps. He's at the rim, too, but his timing is extraordinary. UConn has made their last five shots. Contact. 
And it's going to go the other way. Foul on a day Wusu. Look at Danny running out there. He gets excited about air. But stepping in to pick it up the charge. Good old-fashioned Big East basketball today in Storrs, Connecticut. The number three team in the country, UConn, leading Seton Hall in the first half. This is Ford Truck Month with amazing offers across an amazing time today. And they will go back either to the matchup or man. We will see. It did confuse UConn in the earlier game. So coming off the offensive foul on Seton Hall, UConn can add to its lead. Lob it, and they were not in. Catch, layup, no, tip in, no. Tip in a third time is the charm for Klingon. And, and they, they were going to a matchup, and they were in the wrong spots. Big time breakdown. 22 points in the paint for the Huskies. Jump shot, Coleman. Missed it on the high archer. Out of bounds, one and done. For Seton Hall. On the 12 made for the year. Come up empty. With Ari right in. For that reason. So he's going to take Dawes out. Alamir Dawes will sit. He's been quiet. Richmond had a big game the first time these two teams met. 23 points. And so disruptive on the defensive end. I think last year he had a game where he had 17 straight points against you. Backdoor. Castle had it. Had it come out the way. Richmond defending Castle. Spencer. Can he get on track? Same play. Roll man. Cling in. Create space. Block. Davis got over there. The miss by Klingon and then a foul on Seton Hall. You can see the traffic Klingon attracts and Carabrand wisely slides himself into that inside position for the follow. But they are just destroying them with the ball screen, whether it's right in the middle of the floor, sideline, just putting them to sleep. So Betty Ako is the one that got a piece of it initially to throw off the timing, but off the rebound, Caravan is fouled. Caravan, three straight games, single-digit scoring. He's had an outstanding season, just under 14 points per game. Knockdown shooter at 39% from long range and an 89% shooter at the line. He just stretches the defense, really opens up for others. It's a 15-2 extended run here for UConn. A nice split here. They need some offense, too. Richmond, left hand. That is clever. really clever. And everybody deployed properly away. Tying up Clinton. Quiets the crowd for a moment. Six minutes to play in this fast-moving first half. Back up straight man now. Spencer, 45% shooter from three-point territory. Now it's Caravan back for Spencer. Newton lets it fly. He's fouled in three-point territory. Oh, goodness. Got to close out under control. Isaiah Coleman extended a bit too far for Seton Hall. Uh, when you play teams of this caliber, they had a closeout earlier that was late and no hand up. This one's not under control, giving a talented team a chance for three. So Tristan Newton, the transfer from East Carolina. Three free throws here for the El Paso, Texas native. Shoots it well at the line, 80%. What a year he's had, though, Bird. Over the course of his career, banged out a few triple doubles, right? He's got four yep. as a member of the Huskies. He does a little bit of everything for this team. And the way Dan Hurley puts it, we don't need him to score. If he scores, great. But that's not what they necessarily need from him. He, he threw the numbers out. He gets seven assists, seven rebounds. You know, we can win games. So third one here for Newton. Can't give teams like this easy opportunities. And just calmly goes about its business. Hutchins, Look. Everett, and Coleman each with two fouls. The lead has now ballooned to 10. Largest cushion for UConn. Dawes has yet to get going. The arrow shadowing right now. Ade Wusu give it up for Richmond. Off the bounce, loves to get in the lane. Richmond, cross, Euro, left hand, no. Bediaco couldn't grab it, out of bounds, Seton Hall will retain. Uh, talking about two guys being friends, uh, chatting with another. 
Uh, they were telling us that Danny said, stay in your coaching box. <laughs> and he's got that apple juice or whatever it is. Some concoction. Dawes knocks down a triple. The Dawes that refreshes. They need him. Opens up things for a lot of people. Dawes shooting it at 37% from downtown. One of the leaders of this Seton Hall squad experience. Over 1,000 career points. They run so many things. Double drag that time. You're going to stay in your basics defensively against UConn. Under five minutes to go in the first half. Spencer one on one with Davis. Cross. Fade. Short. Rebounded by Pediaco. Great challenge. That's his go to. First shot of the day for Spencer. High one doesn't go. And a day Wusu was way off. Spencer, give it up. Cut. Newton denied. Foul on the floor. Didn't have to foul him. You got the big guy there. Coming up Wednesday night, 7.30 Eastern on CBS Sports Network. Catch more Big East Hoops action. Butler plays its final home game of the season as they take on Xavier. You're a big Hinkle guy, right? Over oh, the, the, love Hinkle. Years. Sure. You buy your own popcorn there? <laughs> I, I have bought my own popcorn at Hinkle. You eat it after the game, though. Broadcasters shouldn't eat popcorn prior to the game. Just a little tip for you, Bill. I know you're new to the business. Exactly. It hurts your elocution. Seven team fouls. So Newton now back to the free throw line. They have a lot of gamers this team. A lot of guys who like the moment. Newton's brother, Jawan, played at Evansville and Southern Illinois. Newton brings great instincts, just a tremendous feel, running the show for Dan Hurley. Multi-positional, too. They need the ball, active without it. St. Hall has not swept UConn since 1993, but they have had success against them since the Huskies returned to the Big East. Nice find. Open look, Adewusu, it's short. Pull the string on it. Out of bounds. Great look, too. Once again, Gadari. With the five. So Seton Hall trailing by nine with 4.16 to go in this first half. Spencer not looking for a shot there. Samson Johnson is back in for UConn. He screens and gets himself to the rim, Johnson. Love that blur screen, too. Spencer. Ill-advised, he tried to feed it inside the caravan. Richmond had it stripped. Turnover. Scooped up by Spencer. Tried to cup it in traffic. Feed it. Newton. Side rim. The other way should be Jeff Hooper staying here on the checkout. It is. Wow. Seton Hall picking it up. Johnson got fouled on the play. Shaheen Holloway. Seton Hall head man. Dan Hurley played his college ball at Seton Hall. Right now it's UConn. Oh. The rest is history. The Big East has been great for Seton Hall and vice versa. In your wildest dreams, because you were one of the first Big East broadcasting, you had to make a decision. Do I stay coaching? Do I try the broadcasting thing? Did you think that it would become what it has become? Well, the powerhouse that it became? You, you were too young, obviously. You wouldn't ask that question if you saw me coach. <laughs> the results were envied by too many people. I saw you coach. I was younger. I remember the jackets, a lot of plaid. I think you still have a few of those. I, I do. Uh, bring them out in the summer. Uh, what was interesting in those days, I left when Mullen and Ewing showed up. Oh, so I, good timing. There's a little strategy there, you know. Right now, Dan Calandrillo is watching this game going, man. Oh, Danny, really? Player of the year, his senior year in the Big East. The steal by Newton. Newton Euros to the rim. Slam down! Johnson and not recovering, which is not typical. Shaheen upset on that sideline, leaning back. Got to stay in touch if you're the hall. Something going to the rim, maybe a kick out. Trying to get to the free throw line. 37 25, UConn. And Sanders on the floor, too. He can make a shot. Nice post up. Real short. Turn around, air ball, Davis. Oh, and did Johnson hold Betty Ako, and that's what the official saw. So that ball was probably just going to float out of bounds. Betty Ako made a play at it, and Johnson didn't allow him to get there. Well, he never got vision on the ball, Johnson. You got to turn and pin your guy. And Betty Ako 
Works hard. I like this kid. Stays out of foul problems. Boy, he is a contributor. Brother Charles Bediaco was an excellent player at Alabama. Ended up with a two-way deal with the San Antonio Spurs. Got injured, so working his way back from injury. But Bediaco has been a perfect fit for what Shaheen Holloway was looking for at that center spot. Defensive presence, just under two blocks per game, but an empty trip there for the Pirates. We're down to 2.40 to go. But in the first half, the activity, you've got to jam to the ball. Got a shortcut cuts. A little grab on the dribble drive. Newton living at the foul line. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Adam, Clark, Seth, they'll have the first half analysis for you. Look ahead to the second game of our triple header. Plus, get you caught up on all the scores and highlights. All coming up on AT&T at the half. Newton going back to the free throw line where he is 5 of 5. UConn is 10 of 13 collectively. As they deepen this bench with quality, this, this team's going to have a nice opportunity to make another run. Newton short on the free throw off the miss. Davis trying to push the pace. You can see Kessel's strength though. Davis on a fade. Good. Got it. He's very good getting a piece of that lane. At the shoulder, the strength, the size. 16 of Seton Hall's 27 points belong to Trey Davis. 10 point lead for the Huskies. We approach two minutes to go. A little pin down by nah, a little, little late. Bediaco will get called for the foul. The body on Klingon. Got to give him room. Separate just a little bit beyond the high side and don't get locked in by the big. As Klingon got hurt in that first game, Bird, as you know, with 16 minutes left in the second half. Uh, but Seton Hall was so solid on the defensive end. Not as many lapses that occurred in this first half. He did have 14 points and seven rebounds in 14 minutes of action. So while they did a good job against him physically sending bodies his way, he was still getting his before the injury. He ended up missing five games after the injury. Well, the beginning of the game, they just went to him consistently try and punish the bigs. Only shoots it at 56% at the line. Those look really good coming off the fingertips for Donovan Klingon. 39-27, UConn. Richmond, this is where he's tough. Pull up hot area. Short rebound. Spencer for the Huskies. Collectively. Screen people off. Spencer using the clinging screen. Double up on Spencer. Kick Shooter. Caravan. Off the heel. Woo. Offensive board. Newton gets off the deck. Castle. Again, look at this. That's why he gets triple doubles. Just Newton reads things. He's averaging 7.3 boards per game. Swing it. Caravan for Klingon. One on one. Hutchins Everett holding his ground. And a knockaway. Richmond gets it ahead for Davis. Davis does a good job warding off and finding it here. The layup goes. Jaquan Sanders in the game and in the box score. Davis has been solid. 39 to 29. Under a minute to play in the first half. I've been able to string stops together, Seton Hall. UConn, one of eight from three-point territory. Look at that. Banker, bingo for Castle and a foul. Now the ball is on the left, and you've got to jam and beat the cutter down the lane. You just see trailing. Boy, you are in deep difficulty. Big time kiss. A Castle built overnight. So Stefan Castle with a chance at a three-point play can add to this UConn lead. He's got ten points, two assists. He's got that physical profile that those in the NBA look for at 6'6", 215 pounds. Solid kid. And chest you off the dribble, too. Controls. The lead is 13. And no two for one. Dawes give it up. Richmond straight away off the rim. And they can hold for one. And yeah, that's not really his game. Only nine made this year. Newton taking his time. Shot clock is turned off. 20 seconds to play first half. Uh, must rebound if you're seeing the ball. Got to stay in touch. Newton one-on-one -on -one with Richmond. 
now defended by Dawes. Newton, six seconds. Dump it inside. Caravan gets the paint points. One second left. Toss up Sanders, and that's how the half will end. And that was all spent last season, first year under Holloway, and lost in the NIT to Colorado, 65 to 64. And they had control tempo on that last game. Not as effective here. They finally post up out of the gate, and that's goal, Teddy. So put two on the board. Clinging a little late. Kadari Richmond gets the bucket. Trying to get guys going. I like that. Slip into the box. We know how good he is in that lane. 44-31. UConn. Back screen ball. Oh, it's the caravan wide open, and Newton drops the dime. And Bird, that's our open. Same play. Back screen, caravan to the rim. Back to a 15-point cushion. UConn has won 26 of its last 27 at Gampel. Last loss last year against Xavier. Turnover. Davis lost it. Spencer feed it to the wing. Look at that give back. Caravan. Splash. A mistake. You pay against the Huskies. The give back by Spencer. Caravan get them organized. And Caravan is in double figures. He's got 11 points. Largest lead of the day. It's 18 for UConn. Richmond fouled by Castle on the move. Yeah, a little nickel dimer, but when you turn it over in the open floor, you get plays like this and then once again, Spencer, that activity in the back screen, and right here, give and return. Big time. Yeah, you know, part of the issue for Seton Hall, you get down in these types of games, they don't shoot threes. Baniaco erased by Klingon. Couple of pump fakes, and he gets the banker to go. Hanging tough, really. They attempt the fewest threes in the Big East. They make the fewest threes in the Big East. And I like the philosophy of the last three or four trips, though. Getting inside. Got to get some stops here. That is four blocks now for Klingon. Nice cut through the lane. Wide open, though. Newton gets it. Got him. Kessel from downtown. Yeah, Kessel cleared the area. Newton replaces. Every possession, Dan Hurley is engaged. Richmond, hard drive, blocked again. Number five for Klingon. Catch made by Castle. Goes with good D here, but look at the fill. Caravan off the rim. Rebounded by Davis. He was going to keep competing, though. UConn gets back defensively. Davis a back in on Castle. Ball fake and fade. Doesn't go. Rebound knocked up in the air. Claimed by Klingon. And he had Caravan. Effective. You hear Danny saying movement. Everybody without the ball. With purpose. And look at the roll for the big guy. Nice help. Underneath. Kadari. And a foul is called. So Klingon is going to the free throw line. Well, you go back to that first meeting, December 20th. UConn scored 60 points. They shot 38% from the field. They turned it over 17 times. Today, a completely different story for Dan Hurley's squad. And Dan feels now he's got five who can score all threats. He feels the offense is actually much better this year. The other part of that first game, Seton Hall outscored UConn 18-0 in fast break point, so they got out in transition. Today it's 10-2. Pretty nice touch. Clinton has good rotation. Watching him practice, Bird. Last year within the three-point line, he had a nice stroke, but outside not as much. But now in practice, it's smooth from deep as well to complement his power game. And the lead is 20. Three minutes gone by in this second half. Feed it, corner, Richmond, got a three. Oh, it's good to see that, Wusa with the delivery. Going to switch the D here, make him think a little. This is the matchup. Yep, that's it. Once they start pointing... High Newton nice feeds fill. it. Turn around. It goes for Castle. Fills up the cup. They are attuned and ready. 
Again, high level of execution. They know what they want to do when they get down the floor offensively, and then they do it. And usually teams change the look, and it throws you off a strider team. Not this team. Not right now, anyhow. Dawes comes to the ball, trying to fight through some traffic against Newton. Dawes out of control. And out of bounds. Seen the hall out of sorts. Now Dawes has got nothing out of that, but... And just a simple fill. Chris Klingon loads up on his guy, pins him a little bit. Nice find, and obviously good footwork to get in that lane. And the assist to turnover ratio 14 assists for UConn, just three turnovers. We mentioned the transition game 10 2 mm. UConn, so they've flipped that script from the first meeting on December 20th. The flare screen. The center of activity is clinging. He screens, rescreens, then he rolls. Spencer forced to give it up. Newton cans it from the outside. It's a downtown hit for Tristan Newton. Clinging is so unselfish, though. All his activity distorts. Richmond drives, kicks, and a foul call on the pass. Clinging not going to let that ball get to the rim. A message like you were giving the old days, right? <laughs> but Tristan lighten it up. This kid understands the game. What do you need, coach? Fill up that. Years ago, you would admonish me for my poor performance. Oh, yeah, and I do remember turned, that now. And, of course, St. John's did the same thing with Rick, and they have stepped up. But after I admonished you, I wore a white suit, so it made everything better. <laughs> Thank God you don't perspire. 58-36 <laughs> out of the timeout. Oh, wow. Snapping a three is a day wusu. I watched that timeout, by the way, and... Uh, Shaheen animated kid is a hard worker expects a lot and has gotten it for the most part all year long Zukon is five of six from the field in the second half to add to its lead 58 39 just about five minutes gone by and for the activity Spencer Caravan always moving look at this dive Caravan with the throw down I rest my case That's law parlance, just got it. No back-to-back -back there for Ade Wusu. UConn has already cracked 60 points. In the first meeting, they lost 75 to 60. That point guard by committee, too. There's that favorite role on the empty side to cut. Another feed. This time, Newton had it knocked away and out of bounds. How pretty is this one, though? I think you got a pretty good defensive scheme. You sneak a peek, you pay for it. Richmond, watching the ball. Caravan, so clever and adept. Castle sits. He's joined there by Klingon. So Johnson is back in, along with Fiara. Paul Freddy. Crafty play from Kadari Richmond he getting is. to the 10. Perfect word, too, Bert. He is intelligent around that 10. His ability to create his own offense and then make things happen for others. Big numbers this year. 16 points, just under 7 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals per game. Always active. Nice. Step in and steal on cue. Richmond will take it to the rim for 2. He's got a piece of his own. He, he does. A lot of guys would have jammed it. Eh, save the energy. Plays old. 11 points for Kadari Richmond. The UConn lead is 17. And you can just see the continual activity, so you can't jam it up. Here's the slip. Samson's so good at that. They're not going to count the bucket. Johnson with the catch, but he was fouled on the floor. Danny pretty animated on the sideline wants it, but this has been continuous the first half dribble handoff The speed is what he has the power and timing is what Klingon has He's Right here just a little bit late cover And that's worth begging for So you got Klingon with a 7-6 wingspan. You got Samson Johnson with a 7-5 wingspan Defensive and, presence from both and I've got you who never reaches <laughs> We're not gonna get into the numbers turn around it goes for Cam Spencer. That's all Dirk Nowitzki's fault, right? So many kids possess one leg. Side. Yeah. Daisy. His impact. First two of the day for Spencer. The lead is 19. Now, you mentioned Spencer. First two. Think of the mistake he's made. Just plays within the system. Steal. Diara. He's going to wait for his teammates. Spencer. Got a three. They are happy.
back of the ball. Largest lead of the day for the and Bird 17 assists on 23 goals. Goodness. That'll get you rich and healthy. The 60 points that UConn scored in the first meeting, that is a season low for the Huskies, who come in averaging 81.3 per game. Uh, Seymour really had to keep them down, no question about it. And if Bowers back in there, maybe light a fire with him. This is where he is good. Pull up. Richmond sticks it. Owns that lane. UConn number one in the Big East in scoring, but also lead the Big East in scoring defense. Good hands here, almost come up with it. Caravan had it knocked away. Diara fights through the double team, penetrates, and could not finish it. Rebound controlled by Betty Ako. Oh, not a good play here. What a read by Spencer, though. He sniffed it at they don't stop. Relentless. Tomorrow on CBS, grab your gear and head out with the NCIS team to investigate high-stakes crimes with Navy and Marine Corps ties. New episode, NCIS, that's tomorrow at 9, 8 Central on CBS. For their great anticipation on both ends. So that is 10 turnovers now for Seton Hall. Nice fill again by Castle in that lane. Castle the pirouette. Baker goes! Stefan Castle using the window. Very easy to, too simple. Again, unguarded. 15 for Castle. Davis had the big first half, trying to get going here in the second half. Back in, Davis lost it, regathers. Richmond, sir. And it's rebounded by Johnson for UConn. Always oh, looking at Caravan run the floor. What a find by Newton. Here's Diara. Newton gets an open look. Bottom wow. Good things happen when you run selfish. Newton's law is working. 17 points, eight assists. Good. Another deflection up ahead. Castle is going to take it himself. Castle in the sky for the Huskies. High hands on D. Nice block there, almost. Huh? Soft touch for Dre Davis. Right, good. Caravan was right there. 18 for Davis. It's 72 47. UConn. Yeah, we talked about the Hurley family before. The, da the dad's defense in high school was just amazing. They could shut people out. And that's how it started here. Defense and rebounding. The boy, have they complimented the talent. Ade uh, Wusu is fouled as Diaro is trying to get back defensively. Just the ability to make shots, no question about it. But the unselfishness, giving it up and play within the system. Bring it all, leave the chandeliers. A castle of your liking. In here, you can expect to find crystal clear audio. And these kids are the beneficiary of a great home court, rapid fan base. And a lot of talent on display. Opened in January of 1990, 10,299 is capacity here. Sold out, game in, game out. They expanded it in 96, so made some additions. Just a great facility. It, it sure is. They're used to those boxes in the NBA. This is wall of all people. 72-49. Huskies over Seton Hall. Always prying and cutting. Look at that fine. Castle on a kick. Stewart misses on a three ball. That'll come. And Coleman knocks it over to Ade Wusu. We're going to hit the midway point of this second half. Drive denied by Johnson. Good, good reaction, too. Swing. He's got the big. Ade Wusu. Nice screen, too. Works it inside around Hutchins Everett for the bucket. 72-51. UConn double up on Castle. Double up and recover. Stewart feeds. Step in there by Coleman. And it's out of bounds. Uh, real good recovery, too, by Coleman. And here come uh, <laughs> the substitutes. Caravan and Klingon. Connecticut has eight blocks today thanks to Klingon and Johnson. Klingon with five of them.
They really only averaged five a game. Spencer. One on one with the fiscal at Day Wusu, 10 to shoot. Everybody with a good job recovering, too. Swing, Klingon, shot clock winding down. Castle trying to make it happen. Pretty misses on the fade. A good lot, good shot, too. Shot clock didn't reset when it hit the rim. Now they've rectified it. UConn with the offensive board. They do a lot of fake blur screens. Oh, Castle! Goodness. He's got a deep bag. I'll say a little dexterity. Not that team for Stefan Castle. And Bert, that's why Klingon plays out so much. It gives those guys an opportunity to dribble drive. Davis misses on a three ball. Turn the corner, swing, swing. The Harriban spin, missed it, cling in, too easy, to perfection. Boy, unselfish play on display. I said, good looks. The jumper, Hutchins, Everett, no. Rebounded by Castle. Looking to run. Nobody back to look at the. Would you call it a clinic? A Klingon clinic. Goodness. Wow. What else you want? Play both ends of the floor. You know. They will be on the road for their final two games of the regular season at Marquette on Wednesday and then at Providence. Out of the timeout. Jaquan Sanders is back in. Sanders gets a look at a corner jump. It's short. Rebound. Davis. Foul call. They got Clinton. Who's got to be careful? Didn't like the way he came down. He's had a history of foot problems, as we noted. Early in the year, heard against Seton Hall, missed a few. Boy, he has been an amazing guy around that rim. So free throws here for Dre Davis. Comes in shooting it at 80% at the line. Let's check it with Tracy. You guys are talking about Klingon and that ankle injury specifically against Seton Hall. He missed five games. He told me yesterday, though, he's in the best shape of his career. He lost over five pounds during that time, and now he feels he is just 100%. And Dan Hurley told me when Klingon is on the court, he believes they are the best team offensively and defensively in the country. Yeah, dominant force. He's got an enormous frame. And as mentioned, got hurt in that first meeting against Seton Hall obviously played a big role. Couldn't jam it. What a great set play, though. Back screen by Caravan at the end. He upset at himself that he didn't put it down for the highlight. Instead, we'll go to the free throw line. You know, his mobility here, the screening, the activity, I mean, they just do so many nice things around him. David Tubek in the game. He just got called for the foul. Freshman getting some action here in the second half with UConn up big. Look at that rotation. I know it didn't go down, but that's what I like about his game. You get to watch him in practices. He'll have a big impact at next level. He's averaging 12.3 points, six and a half rebounds, just over two blocks per game. Numbers very impressive here this afternoon. They all contribute. 72nd all-time meeting between these two schools. UConn is 48 and 23. First meeting back in 1917. Richmond misses on a three ball. Rebounded by Newton. When I was in Seattle, Don Perno was here. Sure. He, he did a nice job for a number of years. And then Chris Tim Calhoun just raised the roof. And then coach joined you on the Big East Network That's doing right. games on That's TV. Right. Good memory. I guess you studied a lot, huh? <laughs> Klingon missed it on the interior. I was a multitasker, Bill. <laughs> Free throws once again for Klingon. CBS Wednesday Survivor is back. It's a supersized season with the most surprising, unexpected, and unorthodox cast yet. Don't miss a new Survivor Wednesday, 8, 7 Central on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus.
some presence. Great personality. He's like you, by the way, with the music. He knows every song. Really? Klingon does. And you watch him during warm. Well, you, you, these are details that have escaped me. <laughs> I'm studying my notes. You're watching the players right. mouthing words to songs. That's the around, difference between the two of us. He's a happy-go-lucky kid. Numbers last year, he was coming off the bench in the backup role to Sanogo, and he averaged seven points, five and a half rebounds, just under two blocks per game. More responsibility here, but as we mentioned, they spread the wealth. So they're not asking Klingon to be the go-to post score. Right, the pounder inside. Sanogo did give them a like, couple of, they needed some points, but right sure. to them down low. Coleman, high archer, bangs off the back of the rim. Leak out, they look for the break. Who runs down the middle, Klingon with the jam. Garbrandt's the silent assassin. And Klingon with the challenge and then sprinted to the other end. Caravan will get the assist. Klingon, the big man running the floor, puts it down. And it's 82 to 53. His mobility is deceptive, Bird. Coleman. Sanders bounces off the rim. Klingon didn't even have to jump much. And another foul called. Frustration from Hutchins Everett. Just challenged that shot and goes right to the rim. Sneaks a peek right here. How about Caravan? Chest pass on the money. Big fella banging that baby home. What a performance. And he deserves it too. Caravan with the look. And he and Castle, Clement and Castle are going to get a blow. 19 points, 11 rebounds, 5 blocks for Donovan Klingon. Are you saying, though, that you think Danny should go to him in the low box? Or is <laughs> no, oh, okay. not at all. It, it's really more on the fact that they can do it in so many different ways. They're not just a post-up, their big man team. And yet they can do that. They can. Too. Look at this depth. Caravan misses from long range. Coleman gets it ahead for Richmond. We're down to 535 to play. It's all you caught. Nice ball. Fed and shoulder. Fake with the left hand. Kadari Richmond. He can mesmerize, can he? Really creative. And as you mentioned, does it all at his own pace. Now Seton Hall's going to have to retool. Yeah, coming up for Seton Hall. They have two games remaining. They are home for Villanova Wednesday. And then home for DePaul to wrap up the regular season. Well, they run Upstairs! <laughs> Perfection. Johnson with a big time flush. Uh, you know your defense has been decimated. There's really no coordination by the hall right now. Dobber's hanging down. A giveaway here by Caravan. They get a sub in. They are going to get Jalen Stewart into the game. Caravan called for the foul. And Johnson, a different look. He, he ball screens, but he can sprint quicker and get to the rim. Of course, once you dribble drive, you're frozen defensively. Big cheer for Spencer right here. Senior day, Cam Spencer made the decision to attend UConn after a strong showing at Rutgers and turned out to be the right call. Euro, bucket doesn't go, but free throws for Isaiah Coleman. I saw Spencer's dad at halftime. He was throwing his, his other boys. Got that two-way, right? It, yeah, Pat was a star lacrosse player and now a member of the Golden State Warriors worked his way into that two-way deal. Didn't he? He played at Northwestern. He did. He had the one graduate year at Northwestern. He was at Loyola, Maryland, and a tremendous lacrosse player. And just think about the kind of athlete you have to be to be that good at, at that level. Sports. At pretty, that level. Pretty impressive. Uh, this is good. Gets a hand from this crowd. He's done everything that UConn hoped he could do, and then some. Who do you pick as like the guy yeah. that should be player of the year? It's a tough one. That's the problem for UConn. There's so many guys do so many things well. The staff there. There's Tommy Moore used to be with Jim, Luke Murray, Kamani Young, who has been with Danny for quite a while. 17 points, 10 assists for Newton. Denial there by Betty Ako. Oh, they got five on four to take advantage. Sanders, swing. Nice pump. The ball fake from Coleman. The floater doesn't go. Rebounded by Coleman. Reload for Seton Hall. 
Because he knew him. He needed everybody in tune today against this Connecticut team. Shovel didn't work for Betiaco. Diara. Again, not really getting back and recognizing Solomon Ball in the game for UConn. Going to be a good player, too. Great stroke. Diara takes it at the big. Castle flip. Gets the bounce. 21 points for the freshman Stefan Castle. Uh, reaching for everybody on the bench right now, Danny. Final 326. There's Dawes. Splits defenders. He's fouled. Flip doesn't go. Senior day in Storrs, Connecticut. Everything going to UConn's way. Dominant performance against the Hall in a revenge game. Men tell us when they use just for men. Looks like he's been out with us. <laughs> Anything to motivate. Free throws here for Seton Hall and Dawes. And now some changes. Jaden Ross checks in. And he'll be joined by Apostolos Rumaglu, the sophomore from Greece. Well, speaking of Greece, Nick Galis was one of the great players at Seton Hall. Hall of Fame in Springfield. And great talent. So revered in his homeland. Stewart feed it. Ball gets a clean look. Short. And the long rebound tracked down by Tubek. Under three minutes to go. Seton Hall will fall to 18 and 11 overall, 11 and 7 in conference play. Pirates retain it with 19 to shoot. Buzz never got on track, really. Even that's a case in point. That Pines guy couldn't protect the dribble. And another change here for UConn as Yusef Singere has checked in, replacing Samson Johnson. I see the one the top three to really score to be a factor. Coleman, they show a double and Coleman drives, tough angle, and he's fouled on the play. Basketball counter was off the rebound action. So Isaiah Coleman showing off his slashing skills is gonna go to the free throw line. Uh, big now, I think. Uh, Post game, next couple of practices for Seton Hall, how you deal with this adversity and, you know, lack of performance that you anticipated and expected. That loss to Creighton snapped a three game winning streak. So Seton Hall came in to this one having won five of its last seven games. Fourth in the Big East, but behind the likes of UConn, Marquette, and Creighton, those three teams are going to have high seeds. In the NCAA tournament, Stephen Hall is in the position of just trying to get in in year number two under Shaheen Holloway. That's up to bounce back and get a win at this place. But I know Shaheen wanted more than he got. Not a good performance by their standards. Ruma Glue. Tend to shoot. Ball to the cup. Put some English on it. And you, know ball. you know he can shoot. A little play on words. Andrew's up, as you can anticipate. Andrew Hurley, honored prior to the game, senior day, son of head coach Dan Hurley. Banker, no, but a foul. Coleman has been very aggressive for Seton Hall every time he touches the ball, and there is Andrew getting ready to check in. Uh, you can relate having a son that's a performer and uh, root for him and the relationship they have is is pretty special these two feels he's a great contributor has had to cope with some of uh, his dad's off the cuff <laughs> to other players if you put a Seton Hall jersey on Andrew it would look like Dan during his days for the Pirates exactly and Dan will be renowned as a coach but people forget how good a player he was at a proud mom and dad, Chris and Bob Hurley. The number one basketball family in New Jersey. No offense to you and your family. No, none taken. Ostagon is in for Seton Hall. And 
so is Ngoga. Ball, jumper, off. Rebound. Couldn't be put down, but free throws coming as Jaden Ross got to the rim. 138 to play. So UConn already came in with the top scoring offense in the Big East. They're going to add to that average total of 81.3. Chance to crack 90 here based on these free throw attempts. I say don't have to keep the numbers down. They knew that coming in here. An overwhelming offensive scheme today by UConn. But you know, when you lose like this late in the year, and have you been an authority in that particular mm. area, you have a situation where kids have been through it and done some really good things. So you revert back to the basics, get everything in order, and add to their confidence. A lot at stake the next week. Coleman lines it up. Rims out. Yeah. He gets a lot of air under that shot, didn't he? Rebound grabbed by Singare. They all want Andrew to shoot. Ross looking for him now. Goes to the other side. Curly gets a touch. Crowd reacts. He did make it to a deep one. Curly. Turn around. Running out. Rebound tracked down by Ball. He wants to go again. Oops. Hurley lost it for a moment. Because it was tipped, could go back and get it. Hurley. Oh, he's got a chance here. The drive. He's fouled. Hurley going to the free throw line. Grandpa. This is going to be UConn's 13th win by 20 points or more this season. That is the most in the country. They just have a way. Consistently giving it up to one another. Defensively on the string. Knowing Danny, if he misses this, they'll have him run the step. <laughs> Got a substitution here before Hurley's second free throw. Andre Johnson Jr. is in. The father's freezing. Yeah, he side. just froze him. It's unbelievable. It may have helped. Let's see if it was effective. It was. He knew what he was doing. Daddy knows best. 91 61 smiles for Team Hurley. He will never forget that moment. Step in. Johnson trying to scoop it up. Knocked around. Out of bounds. Seen Hall's going to retain with 20 seconds left. Great preparation. Knowing you got a team coming in that really needs a ball game, a win. He took care of, care of business early. Revenge game for UConn. They take care of business. UConn outright Big East regular season champions.